Welcome, everyone, to the Tether Shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster, joining our host, the Houseco Gamer. Yo. Today we're doing the USS Argama. Yes, based on the uh, Argama from Zeta Gundam and Double Zeta. Boom, boom, and... boom, 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 boom. What? And... <laughs> One of us had to do it. It might as well be me. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And it is an inquiry an inquiry class starship. Gotta love the fact that I have the legendary for this. Yeah. Regardless, the Argama was one of the first inquiries built. Built to the original mm. Inquiry Alpha standard. Yes, the radiator thing. This is addressed. The ship yep. would go to serve on as a rapid response vessel, including the Capellus incident. Yes, this ship was a member of the copy and paste fleet. Yes, also known in the book as the first Devron Heavy Response Squadron. Look, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Stop shitting on the guy! He had literally a week to design this thing! And I'm getting a little tired of the whole thing. Yes, sure, it was unacceptable. But can you blame the guy? No. Blame the vi blame the people in charge. Besides, we it got STO ships in Picard Season 2 and Season 3 from this, including the Enterprise F. Yep. Stop complaining about it. View it as a blessing in disguise. Regardless, back to lore. The inqui... The Argama and many of her sisters were retrofit to Inquiry Block 2-1A standards, which included a little bit of slim, slimming down of the engineering section, and of course the installation of a more conventional deflector array. This refit would take place over the next two over the next two years. And then everything would go straight to hell, because just like most of the heroes you see here, the Argama was there at Frontier Day. What is it with the 25th century and Frontier Day? I don't know. Uh, regardless, while the Argama did sustain damage from Probert Station, justifiably, she would survive. Please don't quote the song. Yeah. <sighs> and continue to go on to service. Eventually even being used in the development program for the Avenger class. Otherwise known as... The Baby Audi. Indeed. I mean, look at it. Look... At it. Definitely, you, look, definitely looks like a baby Adi. If you cannot see mini Adi in this, you need your eyes checked. Indeed. Regardless, back to the Argama. Indeed. Stat time. So, yep. So, I originally had the registry code set at 8, 9... Two six six five, but after Ron stating it was one of the first, I gave changed that to eight six five one seven. Now, I think we're setting this thing as of twenty four oh nine, so we might be able to give this thing one refit point. So we have the basic stat line from 2394 is comms 10, computers 10, engines 10, sensors 11, structure 10, weapons 9. 
We could put that extra point in comms, engines, structure, or weapons. Most likely structure. As we are all well aware at this point, the Avenger class and her ilk are not exactly the toughest cruiser class vessels in the fleet. Yep. This isn't being insulting to the Aven to Avenger players, it's just an obvious statement of fact. Yeah. For her to be a little, have a tighter turning radius, her health is gonna suffer. Yeah. Now, mission profile. I'm thinking possibly tactical, well, battle cruiser, tactical operations, or warship would probably be the best options. Battle cruiser, operational. All right, that makes sense. This thing is definitely made for combat. So, we're giving this... So, the battle cruiser layout is Command 2, secure, Con 2, Security 3, Engineering 2, Science 2, Medicine 1. And with the modifiers that this thing had, with the modifiers for the inquiry of one point each in Command, Con, and Science, this gives us... Command 3, Con 3, Security 3, Engineering 2, Science 3, Medicine 1. So, all in all, fairly well-rounded. Now, as a point of order, the book suggests mission pro multi role explorer, strategic and diplomatic operations, or crisis and emergency response for these things. But with the or Argum, I figured it would have more of a combat focus. Just like her Gundam counterpart. Now, we may do a nail Argama at some point, but that's probably going to be, I don't know, an Avenger or. Yeah. No. Hell no. Yeah, definitely Better. not an arbiter. Definitely not an arbiter. Anyway, talent wise, the Avenger uh, the inquiry comes with a blade of armor, improved power systems, and improved warp drive. And Battle Cruiser has the profile talent options of a blade of armor, already taken, so no. Command ship. Fast targeting systems, improved damage control, and rapid fire torpedo launcher. Most likely more firepower. So, rapid fire? More torpedoes are never a bad thing. Unless you're Probert yeah. Station, in which case. So, rapid fire torpedo launcher. What the hell? And sorry, uh, I thought I saw Federation seals on the other side of the saucer suction. Ah, uh, I mean, would be a nice touch. And as a scale five starship, we have room for one more talent. <laughs> Why do these things always look good upside down? <laughs> Talents, talents. Actually, um, kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Star Cruisers when it's upside down. I kind of like it. Uh, mm -hmm. Shall we do fast targeting systems for the final talent? Might as well. <laughs> I am sorry. I, I really am. I mean... It, it's silly, but it looks good. Yep. For weapons, it has phaser, phaser arrays, phaser banks, quantum torpedoes, and a strength 4 tractor beam. And for derived stats, <laughs> it has scale 5, resistance 7, power 10, shields 14. Power equal to engines. Resistance is scale plus two for blade of armor. Shields are structure plus security. <laughs> Descriptor traits. Federation starship. 
Sorry. I'm just having too much fun. Right. Any ideas for a additional descriptor traits, or do we just go with Federation Starship? Avenger Testbed. All right. Avenger Testbed. After the incident, Frontier Day, of course, the ship did sustain damage. But why? But why just send her to the shipyard for repairs when you can use that as a test bed for a new starship class? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, this is Starfleet we're talking about. You seriously think they're not gonna take any opportunity they can to... test out new technologies? I mean, the best way to do it is when a ship needs to be repaired. It's done in real life. It's... It makes sense. Indeed it does. A little too much sense, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, the Argama. A level of pain that you are not going to be dealing with. Yeah. Because you'll be dead with a sec by the time it hits you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.